the riveting world of internal combustion engines. You know, those miraculous machines that power everything from your trusty car to the soaring planes above and the mighty ships out at sea. But who's the genius behind this game-changing invention? Let's uncover the story behind the engine that revolutionized history. Now, before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's brush up on the basics of how internal combustion actually works. Picture this. Instead of the old-school steam engines chugging along, internal combustion engines operate by igniting fuel inside a combustion chamber. This fiery combustion pushes pistons into action, generating the power needed to propel vehicles forward. It's like controlled explosions under the hood, but in a totally safe and efficient way. But who's the mastermind behind this marvel? Well, the history of the internal combustion engine spans over 150 years, and it's been a collaborative effort by some of the brightest minds in history. These folks weren't just tinkering with engines for fun, they were paving the way for a transportation revolution. Now, let's fast forward through time and take a peek at how this engine evolved over the years. We're talking major brain power and countless hours of innovation. From the early days of clunky prototypes to the sleek and powerful engines we have today, it's been quite the journey. Internal combustion engines didn't just change the way we travel, they changed the world as we know it. They're the beating heart of modern transportation, propelling us forward into a future of endless possibilities, with a mix of fuel and air entering the combustion chamber. Once inside, this potent combo gets compressed, and then, cue the spark. A fiery ignition lights up the chamber, sending a surge of force onto the pistons attached to the crankshaft. These pistons, like eager little warriors, thrust forward, setting the crankshaft in motion. And voila, that rotational force is what gets your wheels spinning. But wait, there's more to this fiery dance. Once the fuel and air have burned up their energy, the pistons give them a gentle nudge out the exhaust valves, making room for the next power-packed cycle. Now here's where things get interesting. Ever wonder about the difference between a diesel and a gasoline engine? Well, it's all in the ignition. While gasoline engines rely on spark plugs to ignite the mix, diesel engines are a bit more hardcore. They skip the spark and rely solely on compression to set things ablaze. But let's rewind a bit, shall we? Before Etienne Lenoir rocked the scene with his game-changing engine in 1860, there were other fearless inventors laying the groundwork. Take Nicephore and Claude Niepce, for example. These French trailblazers crafted an early version of the internal combustion engine nearly 50 years prior. Picture this. Controlled explosions fueled by a concoction of moss, coal dust, and resin. Talk about thinking outside the box. So, while Lenoir may have stolen the spotlight, let's not forget the pioneers who paved the way for the engine that keeps us cruising into the future. From fiery experiments to groundbreaking innovations, the journey of the internal combustion engine is one heck of a ride. Picture this. Napoleon Bonaparte himself granted a patent for a revolutionary invention dubbed the Pireola 4. Francois Isaac de Rivas was a genius ahead of his time. He took the reins of innovation and crafted a hydrogen-oxygen powered engine, sparking it to life with an electric spark. This wasn't just any engine, it was the precursor to the world's first internal combustion powered automobile. Talk about laying the groundwork for greatness. Now, fast forward to 1860, the year that marks a pivotal moment in engine evolution. Jean-Joseph Etienne Lenoir steps onto the scene, armed with his gas-fired internal combustion engine. This wasn't just a pipe dream, Lenoir's creation was the real deal. Picture printing presses and looms across Paris, humming to life with the power of his revolutionary invention. But Lenoir was just the beginning of a seismic shift in automotive history. As the years rolled on, the engine game leveled up. Two-stroke, four-stroke, innovation was in the air, and engineers were hungry for progress. Step back in time to the 1860s, when innovation was in the air and engines were about to get a serious upgrade. Picture Jean-Joseph Etienne Lenoir, the trailblazing inventor who decided to take his gas-fired engine for a spin, literally. Placing his creation, the Hippomobile, inside a vehicle, Lenoir embarked on a historic journey from Paris to Joinville-le-Pont and back again. Nine kilometers may not seem like much now, but back then, it was a monumental feat. One that marked the first ever liquid-fueled internal combustion engine in action. But Lenoir's invention wasn't without its quirks. Despite its marvels, the Hippomobile left speed enthusiasts wanting more. With its two-stroke engine churning out a modest 100 revolutions per minute, it puttered along at a leisurely pace of six kilometers per hour. 
Still, the lightweight design and compact size of Lenoir's engine turned heads, setting the stage for future innovations. Enter Nicolas August Otto, the German engineering maestro determined to kick things up a notch. Recognizing the potential of ethyl alcohol as fuel and the power of four-stroke technology, Otto dove headfirst into experimentation. After 12 years of relentless tinkering, he emerged victorious, unveiling a groundbreaking four-stroke engine inspired by Alphonse Baudrocha's pioneering concepts. Intake, compression, combustion, exhaust, Otto's engine mastered them all, laying the foundation for the internal combustion engines we know and love today. But as the 1880s rolled around, a new challenge emerged. While Otto's engine boasted unmatched power, its weight posed a dilemma for automotive manufacturers. It was a classic case of progress meeting practicality, a balancing act that would shape the future of vehicle engineering. Fast forward to the late 19th century, when Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach took the reins in revolutionizing the internal combustion engine. In 1881, spurred by Otto's groundwork, they embarked on their own quest to create compact, speedy engines fit for land and sea. Their breakthrough came just two years later, with the invention of a petrol gas engine boasting hot tube ignition, an engineering marvel capable of generating one horsepower at 650 revolutions per minute. This initial success paved the way for a series of innovations. Recognizing the engine's potential for mobility, Daimler and Maybach forged ahead, birthing the Reti Wagon, a precursor to modern motorcycles. By 1886, they had installed their engine, affectionately dubbed the Grandfather Clock, into a four-wheeled carriage, marking a milestone in automotive history. Three years later, in 1889, they achieved another milestone, the creation of the first fully self-propelled vehicle powered by a 1.5 HP motor. And where did these groundbreaking feats take place? None other than the United States, a testament to the global impact of their ingenuity. By the turn of the century, Daimler and Maybach had elevated automotive engines to new heights, boasting a staggering 35 horsepower, a feat that propelled vehicles to speeds of up to 60 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. Their relentless pursuit of power and efficiency reshaped the automotive landscape, setting the stage for a new era of transportation. But what lies ahead for the venerable internal combustion engine? While its eventual phase-out seems inevitable, manufacturers continue to push the boundaries of innovation. Turbocharging, a rising star in engine technology, offers a glimpse into the future. By harnessing exhaust gases to compress incoming air, turbochargers enhance engine performance, delivering more power and improved fuel efficiency. With turbocharged engines, smaller can indeed be mightier, offering the potency of larger engines while sipping less fuel a win-win for both drivers and the environment. Looking ahead, the internal combustion engine stands poised on the brink of a technological renaissance with innovations like homogeneous charge compression ignition, HCCI. HCCI represents a harmonious fusion of efficiency and cleanliness, leveraging the superior combustion properties of gasoline while eschewing spark plugs in favor of compression ignition, a method renowned for its efficiency. By marrying these two elements, HCCI engines offer the promise of cleaner emissions without sacrificing performance or fuel efficiency, a win-win scenario for both drivers and the environment. But that's not all. Camless engines are also poised to shake up the automotive landscape. Traditionally, the intake and exhaust valves of internal combustion engines are controlled by a camshaft, a mechanical system that operates on a fixed timing mechanism. However, the advent of camless engines heralds a new era of precision and control. In a camless engine, each valve is individually governed by hydraulic or electronic actuators, granting the engine's computer unprecedented control over valve timing and lift. This newfound precision not only enhances power output, but also optimizes fuel efficiency, ushering in a new era of performance and eco-friendliness. As we reflect on the evolutionary journey of the internal combustion engine, it's clear that its trajectory has been shaped by a constellation of groundbreaking inventions and the tireless efforts of automotive pioneers. From the advent of HCCEI technology to the dawn of camless engines, each milestone represents a quantum leap forward in automotive engineering, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. In the crucible of two world wars, the demands of conflict reshaped the landscape of vehicular performance, igniting a fervent quest for engines versatile enough to traverse land, sea and sky. As the smoke of battle cleared, a new era dawned, 
one defined by a burgeoning enthusiasm for automobiles. With consumer interest soaring, the race was on to innovate and refine the internal combustion engine, propelling it to unprecedented heights. From the assembly lines of automotive pioneers to the drawing boards of visionary engineers, each advancement paved the way for the engine's evolution into the marvel it is today. Thanks for watching, please like the video press, the subscribe button and also drop your thoughts in the comment section.